Hello students, welcome back. Let's have a look at the next question. So the next question is a numerical from light chapter and it goes like this. An object of height 10 cm is placed 25 cm away from the optical center of a converging lens of focal length 15 cm. Calculate the image distance and height of the image formed. So here we have a converging lens that it's given that it's a converging or a convex lens whose focal length is 15 cm and there is an object which is of height 10 cm and it's placed 25 cm away from the optical center of this lens. We have to find out what is the image distance and we have to find out what is the height of the image. So let's draw the ray diagram first. So whenever you get a question related to light chapter, particularly this lens and mirror, try to draw the ray diagram first. It will help you to understand the question more and also analyze your answer whether it's true or whether you have made some mistake. And similarly, when you get a question from electricity chapter, if it's a circuit diagram question, draw a circuit diagram first and then try to solve the question. So now let's have a look at the ray diagram for this question. So if this is a convex lens and this one is the optical center, this is F1, this is F2, here will be 2F1 and here will be 2F2. And the uh, focal length of this lens is 15 centimeters. So this is 15. So I write down here. The focal length is 15 centimeter. It will be plus 15. Okay. Because it's a convex lens and convex lens has a positive focal length. And then we have the object which is situated at a distance of 25 centimeter. So object distance will be minus 25. So if this is 15, this is also 15. And 2F1 will be 30. So our object is at minus 25. So it is somewhere between 15 and 30. Okay. So here is our object. And the object is of height of the object is 10 centimeters. So this is 10. Now we have the object situated in between F1 and 2F1. So if you recall the ray diagram, what should be the ray diagram like? One ray will go parallel to the principal axis. After refraction, it will pass through F2. And another ray will pass through optical center undeviated. So here will be our image which will be formed. So here we can see one thing that if this is 15, this distance is 15. The other side 2F2 also will be 30, right? So our image is formed beyond 2F2, right? So our answer should be that image should be formed beyond 2F2. That means our image distance should be more than 30 centimeter. So this is a way in which you can cross check your answer whether it's correct or wrong. So, as per our ray diagram, our image should be formed beyond 2F2 and if 2F2 is 30, that means the image distance should be more than 30 cm. Now, let's check using the lens formula whether we are getting the image distance as more than 30 or not. So, here we have to find out the image distance. Height of the object is given as 10 centimeter which is plus 10. Why it's plus 10? Because it's lying above the principal axis. Any object, uh, the height of any object which is in plus, it is above the principal axis. If you get the height of the image as negative, that means it's below the principal axis. It's situated below the principal axis. So, let's solve using lens formula. 1 by f is 1 by v minus 1 by u 
so r1 by v will be 1 by f plus 1 by u f is plus 15 u is minus 25 so just write down here 15 into 25 do not reduce here so 15 15 gets cancelled it's 25 minus it will be 25 25 cancels it's minus 15 so r1 by v comes to be 15 into 25 25 is 10 so 5 2 is a 10 5 3 is a 15 so it's 2 by 75 or v comes to be 75 by 2 centimeter or v is 37.5 centimeter so so we got here v as plus 37.5 which indicates that the image is formed to the right of the optical center. That means the image distance is positive and also it is more than 30 centimeter which means our answer is true. So now let's go to find out the height of the image. We will find it out using the magnification formula. So magnification for lens is V by U which is height of the image by height of the object height of the image is 75 by 2 by minus 25 which is height of the image by height of the object is 10 so here we get 75 minus 2 into 25 this 10 will be multiplied here into 10 is hi so it's 2 5 5 5 it's 15 so we get height of the image is minus 15 centimeter and this size of the image is 15 centimeter and this negative sign indicating that it's a real image and it's an inverted image negative sign indicates means it's below the principal axis the image is lying below the principal axis it means the image is inverted and inverted image means it's a real image so we get a real image and an inverted image which is formed at a distance of 37.5 centimeter from the optical center and it's of height 15 centimeter and it's an inverted and real image so the image distance we can write here v is 37.5 centimeter and the height of the image is minus 15 centimeter hope you have understood this thanks for watching